Here's a three minute review of my uh, 2019 YT GFC Pro Race model. This is the carbon model, 150mm travel front and back, 29 inch wheels. It's pretty much about 68 weeks old. I think I've had six rides, mostly trail riding in the mud and in the snow. Not a huge amount of dry riding over the winter, but um, so far I'm really, really liking it. Just a quick cover of the spec. Um, obviously you got the Fox 36 grip, two damper forks, which are pretty awesome. The DPX2 shock, Fox transfer post, carbon wheels from E13, carbon crank from E13. And you'll notice I've actually changed the spec already. I've swapped the uh, XTR derailleur that came with the E13 cassette. I've already swapped that to XO using something from another bike because I was not happy with the standard spec. Uh, I've got desk jockey legs, so um, I got used to the 12 speed. Going back to 11 was not pretty. Swapped that over pretty quickly. In terms of the ride, the biggest standout for this bike versus uh, my previous bikes, which was a 27 inch white T130 and a 27 inch T1 uh, G160. I've also ridden an Evo offering as well. Um, so to compare it to those bikes, it climbs like a dream. It's the steep seat angle. The nice 470mm reach on the large, really uh, low anti-squat, so it just, it just flies up the climb, it's the best climbing bike I've ever had by a mile, really really nice, I think it weighs like 28 pounds or something, so this thing just flies up the hills. Um, on kind of windy, pretty tasty single track that we've got here, it flows beautifully, it pops really nicely, this thing just wants to jump off everything in sight. It's really changed the way I ride from being stuck to the ground to getting as much airtime as I can, which is clearly more fun. On the descent, um, it's super controlled. With the, uh, this is my first 29er. Biggest difference I've noticed is significant increase in grip uh, in the corners. Um, quicker rolling speed in the rough stuff. I've just taken it through some seriously rooty um, descending and the thing just flies through it. But there's, real, there's not a loss, much loss of agility, to be honest. This thing can still corner really nice and as I said it just wants to pop off everything. I'm super happy with this bike. I was going to get the, the uh, Yeti S150 or the S130, SB130. I was also looking at the Evil offering and I would say this bike. Um, this was f just under five grand for the whole bike which is the base level Yeti or all it would get me is the frame, uh, f the same fork and alloy wheels uh, on the offering. So in terms of value for money, you know, it's an expensive bike, but it's probably two and a half, three grand cheaper than its equivalent uh, boutique brand. So I'd give it a, I'd give it a nine out of 10 just because of the, uh, that rear derailleur cassette spec. If they'd stuck with the SRAM, 12 speed from the offering, um, easily a 10 out of 10. Um, definitely the best bike I've ever owned. There you go. This is my uh, three minute 30 review of the YT Gypsy.